Neighbors watch on, on edge from River Bottom Road as a wildfire sends smoke billowing up over their properties in the driest conditions that Dan Williams can ever remember in the Cowichan Valley. Well, I've lived up here for 32 years and I've never seen it this dry in October in 32 years. So it's, uh, the rivers are closed for fishing, uh, it's drought conditions, salmon are struggling, uh, forest fires in October. The Cowichan River fire was first spotted Saturday and is burning just across the river from the hobby farm filled area of Satlam by Saturday night. Trees were candling and smoke had filled the area. Seen in this viewer video as residents rushed to the scene and were relieved to find helicopters attacking it with water from above and crews from the BC Wildfire Service hitting it on the ground. Unfortunately, though, it's grown. Today we did see some growth on that fire, so it's now estimated to be 4.1 hectares in size. We have 16 firefighters, a helicopter and two water tenders working on the fire today. So while there has been uh, some growth, work is going very well on that fire. We are working on building a containment line around it. It's the other side of the river for now, and we just hope it doesn't spread any further. This fire's heavy smoke can be seen for kilometers around from Lake Couchin to Crofton and Duncan, and it's causing alarm as those communities too struggle with extreme drought conditions and are worried these sparks could fly. And then the winds are supposed to pick up, so that's what concerns us. Yeah. The cause is under investigation, but according to fire officials, it's suspected to be human-caused. Neighbor Tom Howard thinks he heard what started it. Well, two nights ago, just after midnight, and there was fireworks explosions, 20, 30, 40, all within a two-minute span. So it just seemed kind of strange at night. And uh, The next day, this lit up? This did, and I think it was noticed about midday. Adding to concerns here, no rain is in the forecast for this area. But a special weather statement warning of high winds Monday is, leaving residents bracing for another day of this wildfire, burning so close to their homes they can taste it. The Cowichan Valley wildfire is one of three out-of-control wildfires currently burning on Vancouver Island. The other two are located near Gold River. The larger of the two, called the Crest Lake wildfire, is currently an estimated 352 hectares and has largely remained the same size for weeks despite crews' efforts. The other fire just northeast of the Crest Lake blaze is currently listed at 41 hectares and continues to be monitored by the BC Wildfire Service. Officials are once again reminding residents to be vigilant as the risk of wildfire remains very high due to the lack of rain on Vancouver Island in recent weeks.